people hear that I'm an intellectual property lawyer and their first question is, how much can I get and how can I sue these people and uh, uh, how do I get them? And in all honesty, what I mostly will say to them is you're looking at this from the wrong direction. You really need to try to use the pirates. How can you use the pirates? Well, what you need to do is you need to think about your digital book as a way to get people to your website. Let's say that you're writing a book that's based in Hawaii. Well, you might put some links in there that, that lead people to your website that show them the area that you're talking about and perhaps their posters by a photographer that is to, that is said hey if somebody buys these I'll give you a percentage of them or perhaps you lead them to a place let's say that it's a, a nonfiction book so you've written this in text but what you say is then if you want to see what I'm talking about click on this link in your Kindle or in your whatever, and it will take you to my website. And then the way to monetize that is you can do one of two things. Number one, you charge them a little tiny bit to see the video. All right, could be 30 cents, right? Or you surround it with advertisements that people can click through if they're interested in those things. Whatever you have, you've made a deal with all these people that says if somebody clicks through from this, you will pay me. A little bit and so in all honesty my view is as a strategist that it is very difficult to get the pirates to stop so why not work with the pirates you need to understand how you could monetize it by bringing people to your website how you could monetize it by mentioning a product you know if you're if you're talking about uh, shopping carts because you're teaching people how to put a website up put a little link to, hey, here's a fantastic shopping cart. If they click on that link in your book, you get a percentage from the shopping cart people. And, and that's the whole point here, is that then it's great if you make some money on the book. But if pirates take 100,000 copies, it's great too. Another thing that you could do would be to have a part of your book um, as your book. And then you could have, if you want to see more about this, go to my website. Again. The most important thing, quite frankly, is to gather people's information. If somebody downloads your book, whether they download it because they buy it or whether they download it because they're a pirate, you don't get any of that information. So I download your book from Amazon. You have no idea that I've done that. How do you capture me? You need to capture me. You need me to go somehow to your website and maybe do an opt-in or something like that. And then at the end of your chapter, you can either have the book be a smaller version of your book and say, if you want more information on this, go to my website. And then you capture me by, by saying, hey, if you want the rest of this information, just give me your email address and you'll give me that chapter and then you have my email address. One of the ways an author can protect themselves is that they have done just, just a little bit of the information and then they've captured their, that person and then they've sent something back. So in other words, the only way that you can get whatever it is, whatever this thing is, is for you to register on the author's website. Musicians will do it all the time. I mean, if you, you cannot take a quote, you cannot take a little tiny piece of, of music, but if you happen to have written that music, you could put a little tiny piece of it out there, a la iTunes, you know, click on iTunes and you get a minute or 30 seconds, whatever. You could put that out there and then put it everywhere. Put it out in, in your Facebook page, put a little YouTube out, but then say, if you like this and you want the rest of it, go to my website. On the website, they pay you 99 cents and you send them the mp3 or whatever and again that's that's you sending a little tiny piece of whatever your thing is as a loss leader and then monetizing them on the back end and and again you think a lawyer would say sue sue the bastards but the whole point is it's like scooping a bucket out of the ocean um, I think that a lot of lawyers and a lot of people seem to think that this is all like a pie and if somebody took a little piece of the pie then I don't have that pie anymore Copyright and, and digital copyright and piracy and whatever. It's like if I take a bucket out of the ocean, can you even tell? No. And that's the problem. So how do you monetize it somehow else than this way? Hi, my name is Alexis Semeny, and I'm CEO and co-founder of a service called Ad Content. And we help bloggers and writers to uh, 
uh, protect their content from plagiarism and piracy, uh, to better distribute and manage it on the internet outside of their own sites and blogs, and also monetize it. For example, you are the writer or blogger and you have your own blog and there is a problem that lots of people actually just steal your content and you know nothing about the audience outside of your blog or site who is reading your content and you don't have any ability to control this content or update it and you don't know who is the audience. So what we allow bloggers to do that we allow them to install our special plugin to their blog and synchronize it with our platform and after that any other person has ability to legally repost their posts to any other sites but without content duplication. It's the same easy process as embedding YouTube video to any other site. And from another site, the author of this content uh, has ability to update a track or blog this content on other sites and also see the full statistics and analytics about uh, audiences on all these sites. So it's like bringing uh, the new audience to the author of the content and gives him or her total control uh, on this content outside of his or her own site. We have a couple assumptions how they can monetize it. And now we're in testing period uh, of a couple of things and one of the most interesting one, this is the cost per each thousand of views. So for example, if author of ebook uh, published uh, his or her chapter as an article uh, by using ad content technology with uh, plagiarism and piracy protection. Other person can legally repost this chapter to another blog. And if this chapter uh, got over 1000 views on this other blog, then the person who reposted this chapter will pay to author of ebook for each 1000 views of this chapter.